Hello, my name is Sue Grant and today we're aboard Cool Change, which is an FPB. She is hull number six and we're just coming up from the swim platform onto the aft deck. She's currently ashore in Beaufort, North Carolina at Triton Marine and very kindly Corey McMahon, the yard manager, is helping us with this tour on a rather grey day. So if we're going to step up to the matrix deck and this is a fantastic area for controlling the yacht, both at sea and with close quarter manoeuvring as you wish. As you can see, she's powered by Furuno. And this is an enclosed flybridge area, which with screens that can be detached. And it's an absolutely great place to be. There is cushioning for it, and you have access onto the front of the coach roof with a solar array outside and please wave to her sister, FPB 78, number three, Iron Lady, to port of her. And then we're going to go down. She has an AB rib with an alloy floor, which is easily deployed using the mast and the booms, which also can serve as flopper stoppers, if you wish. and we're walking down the side deck and you can see the great room to starboard. You see those little holes to secure storm boards. The glass is 19 millimeter, so it's very, very strong. And here out onto the foredeck. The decks are very non-slip and easy wear, high staunchions, so this is a safe place to be on a sea. And looking up at the matrix deck, the open array radar is running. And you see the steps that hinge down to give you good access onto this part of the coach roof if you wish. Now we're looking at the Ford Lazarette, which is absolutely enormous. Everything is nicely catalogued. You can see bow thruster there and all clean and tidy. Ready to go back into the water. There was a spare propeller that lives there. You've got a life raft on top and there's another one on the aft deck. And here's the Maxwell Anchor Windlass. Her main anchor is a rock gnaw. She's got a couple of fortress anchors as kedges and spares. Fantastic, easy launch for the anchor. And then you can see the signature great room with its fantastic vision, 360 degree vision, when you're down below aboard this yacht. And then we're going to go back through the other side deck. Plenty of space here for toys. We'll go back onto the aft deck with its barbecue, sink, table. Great for alfresco eating. Access to the engine room there. And then here we've got control so that you can deal with this from outside the boat. And then we're going to go down and have a look at the swim step, which is three foot long. 
great for getting on and off the boat. It also reduces a pitching moment and increases the wetted area for better surfing. This yacht holds the FPB 64 record for surfing at over 20 knots across the Pacific. Now we're going to come down below into the rather elegant great room. She's got cherry veneer, which is executed to a really high standard, and cream white leather. And Cory is then going to take us down to have a look at the heart of this yacht, which of course is her engine room. We're going to walk past the guest accommodation through the single berth cabin, through a watertight door and into this fantastic engine room. And here it is. Her water maker is showing about 730 hours. And then look around the engine room and you can see the generator steering. One of the features of the FPB is total steering control, which when you're in big seas is really important. Her official number there, the yacht is registered in the Channel Islands and she is RCD compliant which means that her John Deere has a CE plate. It's tier three CE compliant. And everything on these yachts is beautifully labeled and easy to manage. So you can see exactly what you're doing with fuel. She has 11 knots displacement top speed just have a look at this tool chest and the vise. And here we are looking again at the main engine, which has run just under five and a half thousand hours. And then she has a Onan genset, 11.5 kVA. That's done under 2,000 hours. And everywhere she is clean and tidy. Here we've got oil change pump, a convenient tool to quickly change oil, either in the engine or generator. Very good system. Very tidy, good wiring. Just there is a dive compressor. And here we go, looking at the main engine again. At a cruise of 9.6 knots, she has a 5,000 nautical mile range. X Grey Wolf 2, she made the trip from her build yard, North Island, New Zealand, across the Pacific, through the Panama, and back to Guernsey in the Channel Islands. 12 week voyage, which was extraordinary. And now we're going to have a look at this single berth cabin, which has good storage. And then here is her desk area. The desk area has all of her manuals, a fair number of cruising guides detailing where she has been. In this ownership, she cruised from the UK where she was purchased into the Mediterranean, um, across the Atlantic and down cruising into the Caribbean and then up into the east coast of the States. 24 volt panel there. She is very well documented. Every piece of kit is properly mentioned. Here we have the double guest cabin, 
with the heads compartment. This is shared with the single berth cabin and there is also a separated shower stall. Very comfortable place to be. The yacht has Klima air conditioning throughout and she also has a central heating boiler. There is her large shower stall. All easy clean. Cool change is in truly astonishing condition. Here is the controls for the refrigeration and then up into this really lovely great room. Here is the galley. One of the amazing things about the FPB is the fact that you can be making a cup of coffee or cooking lunch whilst watch keeping. There is no separation between living, eating, navigating, which works really well. Corian surfaces and massive refrigeration all through here. And I think we're going to have a look at that. Here we go. So this whole counter is refrigeration and there is further refrigeration beneath where Cory is standing. And the whole of the floor beneath the great room is known as the basement and is, again, massive storage. Mealy, this is one of those cookers that grills and microwaves and fan assists and does everything. Induction hob next door to it. The boat also has a dishwasher. And then you've got this lovely sofa. And then we're going to go back and have a look. And there's loads of storage for bits and pieces here. Entertainment, she's got iPod docking as well. Most of the yacht is LED. And just to the left of this is a washer dryer, which is a useful thing to have. Lovely seating area and dining. The table folds. The return to port makes a great sea berth. And here is the heart of the navigation system. She's running on Maritron and Furuno. Now we're going to go down and have a look at the owner's stateroom. This is absolutely huge. All owners' staterooms on FPBs have more or less this format, with a large double berth, huge storage beneath. It's a great, comfortable place for spending time aboard when you're long-term cruising. Massive wardrobes. Everywhere on this yacht is storage and this is a great cupboard area and there's also a basin here which is a nice touch. Lovely, serene place to be. Of course all the cabins are centrally heated with the cabola and also air conditioned. And you've got a seat here as well. And then we're going to have a look at the heads compartment. There's the signature sit-down shower bath area, which all the yachts have. A 
and then we're going to walk through this very elegant, comfortable space. When you own an FPB, it's taken as read that you're going to spend months on board her at a time and you're going to go far. This all closes off if you have people on board. Another control panel there. Up into the great room again. And just look at how much light and space and air is here. Just is quite amazing. Before we finish this tour, we're going to have a look at the yacht under the water from the ground. She's obviously all bare aluminium, and this means there is nowhere to go in terms of perfect welds and getting it absolutely right. Nyad stabilizers, 302 hydraulic. The stabilizer fins are large and she can dry out on them. Very clean and tidy bottom. Uh, here are the senders for the electronics and the bow thruster has twin propellers. And look at that great bow. And such light above. She also has aft camera and camera in the engine room. And here we are, we're going to just have a look at the stern gear. She's got a Nobrol fixed blade propeller for the main engine and for the get me home she's got a completely separate feathering propeller. As you see it feather. So it doesn't provide drag in the normal way. Cool change, FPB 64 number 6.